Hey everybody, it's here, and here we got our 36th episode of our Detroit Red Wings GM mode commentary here on the PS4. In the last episode, guys, we finished up the regular season, so make sure you go check it out. And uh, if you see here, uh, yeah, we're in the playoffs right now. We, uh, last episode, sorry, uh, what was it, what was it? Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, our team really had a tight, like it was a really tight finish. If you look at this, guys, the Eastern Conference, um, we were, we were like, oh my gosh, four points away from missing the playoffs. And we were also, aside from Washington, seven points away from second place. So, I mean, it was really tight this year, guys. And if you look even more down here, like teams like Islanders, Ottawa Senators, Sabres, they missed it by, uh, uh, less than 10 points. So a lot of teams were in it this year for the Eastern Conference, but only the teams that you see there, um, are the teams that made it. So... Uh, you know what? Actually, I will show you guys quickly uh, the playoff tree. Just to double check your memory, make sure you all memory, you you all you all remember uh, what teams are playing off against each other. You got uh, Detroit and Montreal there in the corner there. So yeah, there you go. Um, and we are gonna quickly. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go. You know what? We'll check out the lines first. And uh, you go. You got PK Subban and Jamie Ben. So it looks like the Canadians are still rolling with their right-handed D-man. And let's see what else they got in their team. They got Max Pacioretty, 91 overall. Alex Galchenyuk. So we got to a first-line center. Look at that. Um, and then you got Nikita Sherback. So he's a second liner. He's got really nice offensive stats. Not great all round. So. We can, I mean, it doesn't matter. They got two really good first liners here. And, I mean, Sherback, he's a good player uh, to put on that line, so that'll be fine. Lucas Lesio, you look at this guy. Um, you know what? Uh, he grew as well, definitely, from the top nine player that he's supposed to be. Uh, Charles Houdon, uh, three and a half green stars, I guess you could say. Um, uh, that's... Uh, yeah, I mean he's a solid second liner. You got and then you got Jane Schwartz. They must have traded for him. I wonder who could have been traded. But I mean, yeah, this is a, this is a pretty solid top six guys. You look at their top lines and their second line. They're pretty solid. And then you got some eighty fives in there that fill in in pretty nicely. Um, you got Benson, the guy they wanted to trade. It looks like he's dropped off a bit. Um, you got Lawrence Blake, elite. Where was this guy drafted? First overall pick. Hmm. What was that? Twenty twenty. So was that last draft so or maybe the one before that and i mean he's already at 85 pretty impressive who's this joe joe gray guy uh center playmaker that makes perfect sense i'm a center playmaker but i do everything but playmake that makes guys look at this more physical more defensive this is I i'm not gonna say anymore uh, that's just one of my complaints about ea like ugh. Uh, you got Anders Lee there. They got him for a solid depth pickup. I don't want to go through this too much. Uh, Jordan Cairo, uh, young prospect. Looks like he's developed into a pretty solid center. And then Brendan Gallagher. I'm surprised he must have dropped, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, he must have dropped because of all these. I mean, you got a lot of guys playing here, and I guess, I don't know. I, New Jersey or Montreal likes putting Subban on their second D line. That makes perfect sense. Um, but you look at this, guys. Their defense is actually pretty, I mean, aside from the top three guys, uh, Platinov, who's this guy? Oh, I mean, he's solid for a defensive defenseman, I guess. But, I mean, and then you go into Emelin, who's getting a lot older, and Dalton Thrower, who I guess did not pan out for them as... He's not great. So, I mean, there you go. You got your decor there, so it's solid. But let's see who they got for goalies. Oh, my gosh. And I forgot about Fugali. I forgot about Fugali. So guess what? If Carey Price goes dead, you got to deal with Fugali. So either way, we are getting beaten in the goalie tandem. But you know what? I wouldn't be too worried because I think our goalie tandem is honestly solid. And I think Murzak plays like a 90 in the playoffs anyway. So I think we should be good, guys. Our team looks pretty set. I like our centers. I like our wingers. I like our defense. It's all pretty solid. We don't necessarily have a bunch of 90s on our teams. But we got Jamie Ben, who will definitely help out with that. And I, you know what? I like our chances. This is going to be a tough team. I think they're going to be, they're definitely going to be um, uh, probably, I was going to say defensive, but I mean, they look like a uh, pretty good offensive team as well. You got a lot of snipers. Even Jaden Schwartz is there. So it'll be interesting. 
Uh, let's hold a team meeting here. Uh, this big game, it's game one of the series. We have to view the big picture here, build up confidence, and get those wins. You know what? Let's start right there. Let's let's start right there. Make the team happy. And but you know what? You gotta definitely start off with a win here in Detroit. That'd be very nice. So we got home advantage in Detroit in uh, Joe Luce Arena. I don't think that's it, but I maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, guys, we're gonna start off the game. We're getting outshot by one. First period. And it's a one nothing lead for the Detroit Red Wings as Salonen gets a goal and it looks like we're out shooting them a lot. So it's a good thing we're out playing them, but it's still it's a tight game. So let's have a good second period and let's finish this game off strong. Second period. And okay, so it's still one nothing. That's good. They haven't scored yet, which is what I like to see. Tw shots are twenty four to nineteen for the Red Wings. Can we keep this lead? That's gonna be the big question as we start simming, if this allows me to press the square button, and Anthony Mantha gets a goal on Carey Price. We're able to score on Price, it seems, um, which is good, and I think, uh, yeah, there you go, Mantha. Yeah, he's definitely stepped up this year for what he uh, was projected to be. You know what? Maybe he's starting to play like a 90 in the playoffs, but we're, yeah, we're out shooting the Canadians a lot here, which is something I really like, especially for home advantage game one. That's a great way to win it. 3 nothing shout out. Very nice. You know what? Double check three start. Yeah, you're not surprised. It's Merzak. And Larkin seemed to have a pretty hell of a game with three assists. Not bad. Uh, so the Red Wings are off to a one nothing series start. Chris Terry, uh, Grand Rapids. Uh, do we just do best lines for them? I'm just trying to remember this. Um, I think so. Yeah, you're pretty much set there. Oh, he's back from injury. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That works. Uh, okay, there you go. Game two in Detroit. Let's go get right into it. I don't know why. It just seems really awkward for me. But, I mean, this could be one of our last episodes, guys. It's not our very last episode. I have something planned if we do lose the series. But, you know what? Let's not think about that. Let's just get right into it. First period. And Dylan Larkin starts off the scoring with a one nothing lead for Detroit. And we're out shooting them again, 12-4. to 4. This is what I like about our team right now. Is we're out, It seems with the out shooting, we're out playing the opponent. So, I really like that. Let's keep it up, guys. Second period. And there you go. Kokolet, Chichev, and Tatar get on the board. Anders Lee starts off the scoring for Montreal, but we got one right back with Tatar, so that works out. It's good. All right, shooting them 25-14. to 14. Let's finish off strong, guys. Third period. Okay. There you oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I like to see. Let's see. Oh, they're getting some depth goal scoring, which is not something I like. We got the penalty kill. And Patch already just showed up. Come on, guys. We cannot falter now. This is not a good time to falter. You got to start out playing them now. You out, let them out play you for the first bit of the third. Now you got to start out playing them again. Come on. Get those shots. Get it past Price. <laughs> overtime. Uh, no one ever likes their chances in overtime. It's probably because it's called sudden death for a reason. Overtime. Come on, guys. You got... Oh, my gosh. Galchen. <laughs> oh, it's going to... It's, it's just going to happen. We're going to let in four goals and or three goals and all that time. It makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so they stole one from uh, our home rink, and now we got to take one from Montreal and make this a 3-1 series for us, even though it's only 1-1. We have to I don't like being behind guys this it's just not the way we gotta start playing like we're a top-notch team and not behind all the time so we're in Montreal we got the first shot on net but I mean Montreal did the first game so let's hope that's not a bad omen first period and shots are nine to nine and uh, why did I think of that first Dalton thrower gets Montreal on the board uh, within the first two minutes not even like almost minute or past minute and then uh, Nasty Sweet gets one. Nasty. Nasty. Second period. And Detroit. Dylan Larkin gets one to make it 2-1. Nice and early in the second period. And it they're out shooting us by one shot. I mean, it's shots are close. And uh, it's a tight game, it seems. We just got to get some more offense past Price. And defense, you got to start playing stellar. I, I need you guys to stay consistent and not let in three goals within two periods and not and just unanswered. You got to answer back. They are out playing us like crazy right now. Come on, guys. You got to get more shots. Give it a challenge for Price. Come on. But Will Morizek. 
Murizek, the 90 overall goalie. That's not 90 overall. We'll get it done, and he will not allow another goal in this game. That's very nice. Murizek played stellar. So did Price and Larkin. He had three hits. Look at that. Three hits. So proud of you. So proud of you. We are going to be going to game four. Game four on the road once again, and if we can steal another one, that would be, oh my gosh, that would be crazy. That would be crazy good. Let's try and get the win and take a 3-1 stranglehold on the series. First period, and it's 1-1. Salonen, he gets another goal. Second goal in his, this fourth game. Uh, Patch Reddy gets another goal in this series. I'd really like to see him not getting goals because then it makes me feel like we're shutting them down well. But we start off the second period with a power play, so let's capitalize on that and get that goal back. Second period, and we just let them score two goals. Thrower and Gallagher, right within a minute part, basically. And now we're down, and we need to come back like they did to us in game two. Guys, you got to start playing clutch here. Power play, oh my gosh, they probably got a penalty. Power play! Oh my gosh, no power play goals. Maybe we need to change something. I don't know. Benson gets one, and you know, oh my gosh, just skip that. Murzek just had a bad night. He had a bad night. I'm not even going to look at the three stars. Uh, we don't need to see the three stars all the time, and we'll just skip that. So we're going into game five with the 2 2 series, and we got to do some more. Uh, Bozen, the extra ice time I've been getting is really allowing me to play my best. Uh,. Uh, great uh, you know what you know what you gotta start you gotta keep working hard man just be honest with you you're doing good you're doing good okay it's good it's positive effect but I don't necessarily need the positive effects I need the positive win that's what I need I need the win here guys it, it's a home game we can end it on the road in game six that would be nice and then we don't have to risk a game seven so let you know what let's focus on the game five and let's win game five. First period, and that's not... <laughs> Do I need to be more energetic? Is that it? Is that what this game is trying to tell me? Be more energetic and we'll give you a bit more offense. Emelin and Kairu get them on the board. Their depth is scoring. It's not even Galchenyuk. He only has one goal, but... <sighs> Second period. Okay, Tyler Benson gets one. I didn't actually realize that. I thought it was still 2-1, but Tatar gets us back on the board against Carey Price, 95 overall. Guys... You have beaten goalies before. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You did it in game one, and you did not in game three. So you can do it in game five, because that's the trend here. Guys, we can't go down 3-2 two, th two in this series. That's all I'm going to say. Just have a better third period. Get offense. Get shots on Carey Price. I'm not going to sing that one song. Dylan Larkin, he has been playing so stellar in this playoff run. Gets us on the board, and that will give us a 4-2 uh, deficit right now as patch ready gets them on the board where where the heck is ben jamie jamie ben doesn't even have a goal okay what the heck what the heck i just realized that well that no 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 and they're gonna lose that's i feel so off today maybe i shouldn't have recorded i felt like i was gonna be so hype and now i'm not and now i'm risking our chances of winning oh my gosh four two yeah we got to make line changes we were outplayed definitely these past two games uh, maybe even past three i can't remember i think we were but we got to make changes the first line oh minus two with no goals minus three like what the heck tatar has been playing nice you know what mantha mantha you got two goals use your chance to step up uh and then yurko svejnikov no offense minus three what just yurko get on there to do something you guys gotta get you gotta start playing better bozen um larkin what can we do what can we do okay we'll leave it that like that salonen he's played pretty stellar uh so let's move salonen to the right side for that game and I think that should be it. Lots of line changes. Svechnikov just isn't getting it done. Um, power play. Do we need to change something up? Mantha will get him up there. Svechnikov, get him off the penalty kill. Um, maybe not. You know what? We do need offense. How's the defense doing? You know, actually, I feel bad for... Is Salon in a third line? He's still a depth liner. You know what? The fourth line's been playing stellar. Um, Svechnikov just fit on that third line for now um maybe 
yeah, I'll just leave that because he has a pretty good shot anyways. Um, one thing I need to do is actually I'm going to check out the defense. And how's the defense going? Minus 2 and minus 2 and minus 2 and minus 2 and plus 1 and plus 1. Okay, so um, you know what? Klimchuk, you're going to go down there. We're going to play our, our top-notch guys. And who was it who hasn't been playing really stellar? Klimchuk. I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take out Klimchuk, guys. He's just not getting it done right now, and we need to we need the physical aspect of our game. And I know Viking stat is down, but his offensive stats are still nice, and we can put him on the power play there. So whether or not this is a good uh, a good decision, um, I take responsibility for it, and hopefully, 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 we can get back in the series and tie it. That would be very nice, and it's what we need right now. So. Uh, let's put in Viking stat once again, and there you go. That's all set. We got him in there, and I think that should be good for now. I'm actually tempted to change things up even more. I was gonna say stall may be better to put with. Um, you know what? We'll do that, cause um, or hmm. You know what? They have their defense been spread it out, so I'm gonna do th this. Um. De Kaiser, Ouellette, Sproul, and Stahl. I'm going to play Sproul on the top line because that's where he fits best. Ouellette, their best defenseman, Subban's there, so it works. And then hopefully Viking Stat can get us some offense. And now we will f f try to finish off game six with a win. That would be exactly what we need right now is to get back in this series. Guys, we're down in the series, so we got to do regular time simulation. This could be our last playoff game and our last playoff round, our last playoff series. We work a goal on the power play. That's really awesome. Tyler Little. And we are playing them like crazy. This is really good. We had a long power play. Wow, I just realized that. We just got to just gotta keep on outplaying them for this first period. Keep the lead right now. And, okay, so they got a couple of shots on, but we're keeping that lead. And Little is helping us out now with a bit more offense, which is really what we needed from him. Second period. Let's go and get more offense, guys. Penalty kill. And the penalty kill shows up for us big time. We kill off that penalty. Power play. Can we get another one? Nope, nope. Nothing's going to happen there. Shots are 14 to 12 for the Red Wings. It's pretty close here. Shots are being tight. Game is being tight. And I'd like another goal before the second period ends. Are we going to get one? No, they're going to get one. Patch are ready. Darn it. Jamie Ben, I'm gonna call you out right now. You need to flip and step up, man. You are just not helping us, not at, like at all. Should we have put you on our fourth line so then at least you get tons of goals on the fourth line, maybe? But I mean, he's not stepping up, so we gotta have something. We have to have someone step up for us. Murzak, you've been playing pretty solid for us, but we really need you to play like that 90 overall goalie that you played a couple. You played a couple games ago. Uh, it'd be really helpful, man. We need you right now. We need someone to step up. Penalty kill, good job. We need to have tons of people step up. Not taking penalties, I mean. Not step up in fights and getting penalties. Come on, guys. You got to get offense on this. It's Carey Price. Power play. You got to score. Come on. It's Carey Price. He's going to shut you down. But you got to get past him. Okay, it goes to overtime. This is not good, guys. No, 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 no. I feel like I'm going to freak out. And I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. Overtime. You got to get the offense, guys. It's Carey Price. Push him to his limits. Make him work for it. Get the shots on net, guys. Offense. Detroit Red Wings. Someone. Penalty kill. No, 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 no. Come on, Jamie Ben. Step up for some... Fourth line center. Why? Why, 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 why? Ninety-two overall, JB Ben doesn't score, but who's that guy? Jordan Cairo, eighty-two overall center, playmaker, playmaker on the fourth line. That makes perfect sense. I love that. Well, let me just set this back. Well, I didn't turn my mic off. Good. Well, that's that. That's that. We lost, and yeah, so we didn't get offense. We went up against a guy who had ninety-five overall goalie, but I mean, what are you gonna do, guys? They are the better team, so, I mean, come on. Why? Why? I mean, 
at least we made the playoffs, but uh, I would have hoped for something more. It's just, oh. Ah, okay, we got to hold the team meeting. Hold the team meeting. Team did not play. It, need to be better and work harder. Need more of you guys next year. I think we had a good season. You guys be proud of yourselves. A lot of you gave it all out there. I know that. Hopefully next year will be better for the franchise. Safe to say we need to be better, work harder. Give it all a good season. I think I think they I don't want to blame it on our offense and Jamie Ben really, but I mean we didn't step up and I think it's safe to say that we need to be better and work harder. Maybe then we wouldn't be in this position down in the series. And, I mean, we went up against a good goalie, guys. So, I mean, what are you going to do? We, we, I mean, if they had Fucali in that, overall-wise, he's better than Murasek. So, I mean, the game's just going to give it to them. So, why? Why does it have to end off like that? It just, it just had to. My luck. But, I mean, I mean, it's not going to end off necessarily with a cop. I would have hoped that we could have made it past the first round, guys. But, I mean... You know what? We'll we'll skip and see how the how that goes and ends up. We'll skip to the draft. Um, I might have a plan for next episode. I'm not sure. I know I want to get another GM commentary um, out soon. I was thinking of doing a vote, but I think I'm gonna be getting busy over the next couple months, even next year. Um, working harder, doing lots more work, 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 work. But um. I got a thing. I'm thinking about stuff. I'm. I got different ideas. We got our. Um, make sure you guys go check out. What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, I'm having a brain fart right now. Legends. The Legends uh, season mode. Fantasy draft season mode with me and Nathan. That will be. I. I should have uploaded one probably previous. I'm trying to. Sorry guys. I've been actually pretty busy the past couple days and. I wanted to get episodes out, and I was really excited. I've been taking a lot of my time. I mean, we have lots of episodes. We have up to episode six recorded on uh, the Legends season mode, so um, I'll try and get those out for you guys every three days. I'd like to try and keep it going. So, uh, yeah, that should be it. Uh, we'll do a bit more scouting. What do we want to scout? Who is um, who else turned out? I can't think of anybody. But you know what? Let's. Uh, uh, do we have? Do, where do we have a plus? A minus, not Germans, because Nathan already proved that that doesn't work out. Um, forwards, check forwards. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need a couple checks, and to keep us in check. Um, so I think that should be it. I believe our yeah our AHL team didn't uh, make it past the first round either. That's unfortunate. But you know what, guys? These kind of things happen. I mean, at least it wasn't like the New Jersey, um, the New Jersey GM mode commentary, the old PS3 version that we did. Um, on the old one. We're not going to add players to watch list. We can't now anyways. Um, but at least we didn't miss the playoffs like in that one in the last episode. Spoiler alert, not much. But yeah, we missed the playoffs in our very last episode. So uh, that was not great. But I mean, at least we made it this year. Um, Colorado Avalanche win the Stanley Cup. Calder Cup goes to the Syracuse Crunch. Who's that again? That's not Colorado, is it? I don't think so. No, it's Tampa. It's Tampa. Okay. Um, yeah, we will get up to the draft here. I think I might have an idea. Otherwise, this actually might be the last episode. You know what? I think it's going to be the last episode. I might not. You know what? Maybe. I'll, I don't know. We'll figure out something. Maybe you guys can let me know. Leave me. Leave down a comment down below on what you think you want to see. Do you want to see just another, just like a whole episode that's like half an hour, just complete sim and see what our team would have looked like for na next year? Uh, Shea Weber retire. We got pretty far in this GM mode. That's pretty impressive. Let's check out the playoff tree and check out all that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, it was Montreal. Montreal Game 7, guys. Montreal made it to Game 7 against Colorado. So, I mean, was it really unsuccessful year? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we went up against a good goalie. And, I mean, yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. St. Louis beat Nashville 4-1, which got swept by Colorado. Oh, my gosh. Colorado was actually pretty dominant. Um, I guess that was, yeah, they beat Colorado, or they beat Vancouver, which beats St. Louis, which beats Calgary, Calgary beat Anaheim, and Arizona beat Edmonton, which Calgary beat Arizona, if you guys are reading this, I mean, just look at the screen, you see it for yourself, Colorado won seven games against Calgary, and then against Montreal, so that's pretty nice for them, 
Uh, Carolina. That's wait, Colorado. I think that's their third cup. I can't remember if they've actually won one. I don't think they have. Uh, Carolina made it to the second round. Philadelphia didn't make it to the second round. Florida made it to the second. The they made it to the third round after sweeping Washington. Um, Montreal, they obviously made it to the finals and lost in Game 7, which is kind of disappointing, but no, no number 25 cup for you. Uh, Pittsburgh made it to the second round against Montreal, and that's it. Boston didn't make it any farther. Awards, uh, Stanley Cup, Colorado President's Trophy goes to Washington. I'll actually check this. Detroit, Florida, Buffalo, St. Louis, Colorado. So, I mean, there were a couple Eastern Conference teams, so, yeah. Uh, Colorado and Montreal were the two winners of their respective conference playoff winning trophies. Art Ross Trophy goes to Connor McDavid for the fourth year in a row. That's pretty realistic, I'd say, for the future at least, maybe. Hart Memorial goes to Connor McDavid. Ryan Spruill, third year in a row, James Norris Trophy winner. You know what, guys? I want to say I'm proud that I developed that defenseman. Spruill was amazing for us, and I, you know what? I wouldn't be mad if he was considered the captain of this team, but yeah. Lady Bing. Memorial goes to Connor McDavid for the fourth year in a row. Uh, Jack Rabbit, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember his name. Um, but the sniper from Ca uh, San Jose. Um, he wins the Calder Memorial Trophy. Uh, Con Smythe goes to Gabriel Landeskog. So not a goalie. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I'm glad it's not all goalies. Vezina Trophy goes to Tuka Rask. He's still in the NHL. Look at that. William N. Jennings goes to Braden Holtby. Samuel Morin gets the Bill Masterton. Frank J. Selke Trophy goes to Jonathan Taves. He hasn't won it for a while. Uh, Ted Lindsay Award goes to Connor McDavid. And Maurice Richard Trophy goes to Taylor Hall. There you go. That's it. Uh, AHL. I'll just double check everything. There you go. You can check all that. I'll go a bit quicker. Um, yeah, I'll just see if um, uh, the farm team won anything. Um, I, You know what I would actually like to do, guys? Is I wish that our, it, like, in the GM mode, especially for my next one, even, like, with... Um, uh, whatever team I do. I've been thinking about doing the Canucks. I just want to let you know that. Um, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Um, but, yeah, it's probably figuring out what I want to do after that. Um, I was going to say, I'd like to try and make it so then the AHL team is developed and winning games. Larkin played phenomenal. Like, this guy is. This guy should have been 92 overall. And, yeah, he, he played great in the playoffs. Tatar played pretty solid for us in the playoffs. You can't be mad at him. Um, Ouellette played okay. Um, Spruill went back down to an 85, which, again, like, guys, if he had that kind of year, like, it's just the defensive awareness that brings him down. If that's an 88, like, a stick checking, or an 87 or 86, he's an 88. Like, hands down. He's, I don't know. And, I mean, that's that's kind of messed up. I wish the game wasn't too so so shaky, but... Yeah, James Norris Trophy winner, and he goes down to 85 overall. Makes perfect sense. Uh, Nasta Week had a pretty solid playoff series. So did Mantha, two goals. Uh, Jamie Ben nothing. I hope the GM probably trades him for the first overall pick or something. Uh, Yurko, Glenn Denning, Salonen. You got lots of young guys. Uh, Tyler Little went down to an 87. I don't understand why their overall goes down. Zadarov, uh, Kokolechichev, uh, Stahl, Bozen, Vikingstad. Uh, Svechnikov didn't have a great playoff series. Neither did Klimchuk and then did Kaiser. So there you go, guys. Salon has a pretty good series. Mantha, yeah, all the guys who scored goals because they were able to score goals in Curry Price. So again, guys, I don't think it was a bad season. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't make it farther, but I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, Murazek played okay in our playoff rounds. He could have played a bit better and we may have had a better chance, but I mean, again, what are you going to do? Went up against a better team. There's nothing you can do about that. So, anyways, guys, I think that should be the last episode of the GM mode, but until then, I may... Wow, I feel like I wasted you guys' time so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's this. Uh, that is basically this GM mode commentary for for good. Um, I might make another episode with some other guys. I'm thinking also another option could be uh, having one of them be the GM and then seeing what they would do in the drafts, free agency, in one big episode, or maybe we do a live stream. You guys could give us some ideas and just have fun with it. But I mean, you guys can let us know if you wanna. If you want me to like do a like go f three or five more years by like just uh, off screen and uh, see what the team would look like uh, by then and see how good like guys like Little get and all that. But I mean, I, I could do that. But I mean, otherwise, guys, I think that's pretty much it. 
So I'm going to end it off there. That's pretty much the GM mode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this entire series. This is probably my best, most successful series, mo most successful GM mode commentary for sure. And uh, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed for when more content content comes out. I'm trying not to say this kind of stuff anymore, but it's the last episode. Um, we're going to be doing some more GM probably, and I'm excited for what comes next. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Next one. What the heck am I talking about? Next time. I'll see you next time.